Hey you guys, this is Mr. Sal. Here's another problem for us. Yona can complete 20 math problems in 50 seconds. If he continues at this pace, how long will it take him to complete 610 problems? So what this is telling us is that we have a proportional relationship, which is why it's telling us if the pace continues the way that it is. Now, we don't know what kind of problems these are. It's just a problem, you guys, and I don't know how reasonable this would be anyways, but to set up the proportion, we need two fractions that are equal like this. Uh, we're comparing math problems in seconds here. So we've got to determine where we want those in the numerator or denominator. So I'm going to put seconds in the numerator, and I'm going to put math problems in the denominator for both. So this way that I've labeled these, it just allows me to know where the numbers go in in the proportion here. So right here we have 20 math problems for 50 seconds. So that would be 20 math problems for 50 seconds here. And on the other hand we have 610 math problems but we don't know how many seconds. So most people prefer to solve these using cross multiplication. So if I cross multiply these two I've got 50 times 610 and this should be equal to 20 times the x which would be the other cross. So now we have this equation which we can solve. Uh, let's go ahead and do 50 times 610 first and what would that be? 50 times 610 so 0, 0, 5 times 0 is 0, 5 times 1 is 5 5 times 6 is 30. So I've got from these two, 30,500. I, I just added those two together, by the way. And that should equal that 20x. So the final thing we need to do is solve 4x by dividing both sides by the coefficient. So the 20s cancel out, and I'm left with the x. And 30,500 divided by 20 and here I've done the math for you without having to make the video so long. So 3,500 divided by 20 would be 1,525. And we do need to label this because it was in seconds. And we can just put an S on the end of that. And that would be the final answer.